Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. So we got this 2022 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins Diesel. So in our first video, we did how to install Expel paint protection film in this lower steel bumper. In this video, we're gonna go over how to do full hood. Now we've got the hood laid down, got a ton of slip solution underneath there. Now we're ready to do our four corner tack and ready to get installing this hood. So should go pretty good. It doesn't seem too terribly challenging to do this. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so one thing I did is I removed the Ram 2500 emblem over here, just so I could wrap the film inside there for a much cleaner install. Um, right now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pull the film back, spray down the fender, spray down the adhesive side of the film. And I just wanna get, just wanna get this tack down over here. go. Now we'll go over the driver's side and do the same thing. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull so I have a little bit of tension across the back edge. Same thing, just get some tack solution behind the adhesive side of the film. Stretch it in place, hold it there. Squeegee that down. Okay, now what I'm going to do is move the chair out of the way. I'm going to take and try and tack the film to the headlight. So I'm going to get a bunch of tack solution under the film and onto the headlight. So now when I'm pulling, I just want to pull enough that. That film to stick there. Film usually does not like sticking the headlights very much. Uh, there we go. That's now come over here. Now when we stretch across, I'm pulling the film just. Mm, with uh, a nice even tension just to make sure that there's no that there's no fingers popping up there we go so right now this is absolutely perfect uh, we've got no fingers across the front um, we do got these valleys over here which could pose a problem but I mean, just push the air out of them. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the top of the film down a little bit just to make sure that the squeegee is gliding. I'm going to start on the passenger side and come up over here. Me being six foot five on these Dodges, I do have to use a step ladder, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. One thing I'm gonna do is just take my knife. I'm just gonna cut off some of the excess film on the back. Now what I can do is I can come across right over here, do my first sweetie stroke. Always making sure my squeegee strokes are overlapping. When they're overlapping, then I'm making sure that I'm not leaving any moisture behind. And if I am leaving moisture behind, it's going to be minimal. So, there we go. Now I'm going to come down to the front over here. And pull all this solution. Okay, so we got the middle area down. Now we got all this air that we have to get rid of from this valley. So what I'm going to do, just spray a bunch of tack solution in over here, underneath the film. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and run my hand along here, try and get all this film to sit down. And then I'm just going to hold, I'm going to hold the film in place over here. Over 
overlapping all my squeegee strokes just to make sure I'm not leaving any moisture behind. Probably could get off the ladder to do the front of the hood, but looks like it's working. So there we go. Okay, now I guess I could let go of this. This seems like that's going to stay, so that's good. Now what I'm going to do is just take my knife and I'm going to cut a hole right over here. And I'm going to see if I can get this to sit down. here out of this valley. Good thing with these pink flexible squeegees which you can pick up on our website, link in the description, is I can really get it to mold to the valleys. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna get more tack solution in here. do is just gonna open this up a bit. into place here. Okay, now I'm just going to take my knife, I'm just going to cut a bigger opening here. Get some tack solution right here. fingers down just like so Take and trim this a little bit more. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. I'm just gonna make sure it's back corner is down. Some shoes. There we go. Okay, that's good all down, not going to cause me any issues. Now we can go over to the driver's side and what we need to do is, but I'm going to get this corner down here first. What I'm going to do, pull this back, some tack solution out of there.
Okay, now we're over on the driver's side. I'm gonna finish cutting all this film over here. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is because it's been a few minutes since, since we sprayed the hood down, what I'm gonna do it's just getting more slip solution underneath the foam. And just gonna move that around. Okay. Now I know the film, everything is gliding really good. So what I'm gonna do, just gonna start in the back here, squeegee that out. Front and lift this film up just a little bit. There you go. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to take and lift this up here. Solution under there. I'm gonna hook that around right there. Get that tacked down so I can take and push all the air out the back. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get tack solution over here. Getting a good healthy dosage of it. Make sure that this is all gonna stay down on the back edge. Then I'm gonna come over here, pull all this air out. Oh, don't wanna let any air back in. Just like that, hold that. Overlap those squeegee strokes. Take and lift this up. This area has been getting a little bit stuck. Don't want that stuck just yet. Got to get all that solution out of there. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm popping all this up. I need to get more slip solution in here because it's starting to feel stuck over there. So right now, all I'm doing is just soaking this area with slip solution. Get my hand in there. Give that a good pop. Just like so. Now, there we go. Get that ridge down.
go. Okay, now I'm just gonna get some tax solution in here. Okay. Just gonna take and trim this out. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this right where I want my trim line to be. So I'm just going very, very lightly with my knife. Come around here. Go. I'm just gonna pull the film a bit. There we go. Now I'm just gonna hit this with a squeegee, make sure that's all down. It is. That's good. Okay, there we go. That's the end of this video. Actually, not quite. I gotta get this corner down here. This is starting to pop up a little bit, so I'm just going to take and trim. Okay, so now that I got this relief cut, all I'm going to do is just take and make sure I pulled it so there's no, no fingers popping up. I'm going to hold that down. Just going to hit that with the squeegee, and that's going to stay in place. Okay, that's perfect, I guess. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, this cut wasn't that bad to do. I haven't done one in a long, long time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, stay tuned for more. Cheers.